Hello everyone and welcome to episode 34 of Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. So this is the first episode that I'm back recording because the other ones were pre-recorded. Um, so today I I was going to... Some of the key quests are horrible. we got to do this Kezu, not that Kezu, we've got to do a Kezu, um, a Plesioth and stuff. So I'm wanting to do this, two purple gyps for us. It's not too bad. Um, yep, that's the right quest. It's not, it shouldn't be too bad in theory. Um, it's like a nice little quest. Um, and what did I want to say? Um, that's what it was. And um, just for everyone's information, my game comes out next week. I know. Most of you probably don't care, but I am going to mention it because it's sort of advertising. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> uh, do we got every... Yep, we got everything. Okay, let's go. I don't... I'm not going to bother with traps with um, these two. Um, paintballs. And then we got to do um, Plum Damio again at some point, but I just got to get a new helmet first. Because this helmet's still high rank. And obviously, I want G-rank stuff. Everything else is G-rank, because I got a, um, a Emerald Conga chest piece. Are you landing or are you flying away? Landing. I thought I heard two sets of wings for a second. Okay, straight into it. Got my nice fire sword. Gotta get their tails. I do have Psycho Serum. I only just remembered that I actually brought some Psycho Serum. I could have just used that when I couldn't find them. Can you stop? That was really close. But yeah, since this is two monsters, I really don't see this quest being too hard. I mean, now that I've said this, surely I'm going to somehow fail it. But I mean, because, you know, two monsters, I mean, they're not super hard to begin with anyway. And obviously, since there's two of them, they're going to have a little less health. That chip damage. That's the thing that kills you in this game, chip damage. Like, seriously, I, I could actually die here to that chip damage. Oh no, we're poisoned. Oh, we're not. Lucky. It feels weird recording again, because I haven't recorded for a week. Um, I've just been working on the game, like, every day. I even worked on the game on my birthday, just because working on the game's fun, so... It wasn't, like, going to work or anything. I've done a lot of good progress on the game the past couple days, well, the past week. But specifically the last couple days, I added a few things which, um, finally I got in. Um, the map, um, and icon system for the map, those two were plaguing me for, like, a month. I just couldn't get it working. Um, oh, damn. I pressed, <laughs> I pressed to eat instead of jump. I don't know why I did that. But yeah, um, and I've got a little, like, a cool little, it's pretty simple and basic, but I've got, like, a, um, a location discovered thing. Like, when you find a location, it comes up, location discovered, has a little sound. Um, and when it, when it turns to day and when it turns to night, there's a little sound and a little text pops up as well. It's just, like, those small little things that I, I really like adding. Because when you see it, like, all come together, it's just, it's amazing. I'm gonna have to, I have to send out, like, do I just see wings? No. I have to send out like one to two hundred emails to like YouTubers and streamers with the keys to the game. I haven't done that yet. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to do that in the final week so then the game's like 98% polished. Like, you know, just do it like two or three days before release. Um, when I'm pretty much just working on the trailer and stuff. Um, mainly because like, I'm obviously going to have a... a template for all of them. I'm not going to make a custom one for each one, but there will be certain YouTubers, like certain ones that I watch personally, I do want to put a bit of a pers personal message in, and we'll just customize it a bit. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'm going to get some people to play the game. I'm pretty happy with the wishlist amount. Um, see, We'll see what the conversion is. I'm estimating 10 to 15% conversion. Um, but, I mean, I'm... I'm just going to be happy that it's out either way. My, As I've said multiple times, my goal is to just make a profit 
um, and also to get positive reviews, and positive reviews is the main thing. Because, I mean, making a profit isn't guaranteed. I mean, I spent... I should make a profit, because, I mean, I've only spent maybe... Well, in the end, I've got to spend, like, another 100 USD, so probably, like, 1.3 grand in the end, 1.5. Somewhere around there. I haven't checked my uh, my little book where I have all the costs written down in. But it should be roughly around there. So if I need, if I make at least that, then it's a profit. Um, I forgot he does this, and for that, that would be what would that be? Maybe 180 sales, roughly. I think 100. 180, yeah, because after Steam takes their cut, yeah, probably 180 to 200, we'll just say 200. 200 sales is um, breaking even. So, I mean, I would expect to get at least 200, realistically, going off by wishlist amount and my previous games. Um, but we'll see if that actually happens, but it should happen. It'd be nice if I sold even more, obviously, you know. You want to you want to make as much as possible, but I just want people to enjoy it. That's the main thing. So I've really enjoyed making it. So I I really want to see what damn it I was hoping I could get him in time. I really want to see what other people think, and I want to see what people love and potentially hate. I mean the demo did a good job telling me all that stuff already, because I mean I had people tell me like what their favorite part about the game was, what their least favorite part was, etc. And one of the AI issues I was having with the enemies, like make one, I wanted to have like this stalker one, um, and I couldn't get it to work properly. But I kind of oh, okay, I guess we'll fight you. Um, I've kind of accidentally got it working. Like the AI I'm using, I kind of bugged it out, but it works how I want it to. So technically, the stalker enemies in the game are bugs, but they work how I want them to. So I mean. Yay, I guess. As long as they don't do any like weird stuff. Um, like, because I have like modes for like, you know, there's like passive enemies, uh, aggressive, coward enemies, etc. Um, and I made it so right now I had it on aggressive so I could assign its, um, its target. I mean, I can do it through, a, um, through another script, but I couldn't be bothered. But anyway, and then when I put it onto passive, it runs away from the player but it also follows the player. So it does exactly what I was wanting it to do, but it's actually a bug. <laughs> I mean, I could also just put it at, um, I could also just make my own little script attached to this AI, and um, just make it so then target equals player transform, you know. It's pretty easy to do. I just haven't, I haven't dabbled too much with that AI bit yet. Um, because I just wanted to get everything else done, and then I was going to try and get the stalking AI to work in the last week. Just because it's not detrimental, like, if there isn't the stalking AI, there's other AI in the game. Like, it, it doesn't matter. It was just something that I think would enhance the game and make it better. So that's why I wanted to try and put it in. So that's why I don't mind too much. But obviously, the better the AI is, the better the game will be received, so, yeah. I'm having it, one of the biggest AI issues I'm having is the animals. Like, they just don't want to cooperate. I don't understand. Like, I have them on a, like, a dynamic wander, which is pretty much they just, like, pick a random path and they'll, like, they'll pick a random location and walk to it and then stop and then, you know, continue doing that over and over, basically. Um, but for whatever reason, they don't want to move. Um, and I've already checked the navigation and everything. It work, it's working perfectly fine. So there's, there's no reason why they sh shouldn't be moving. So I'm just going to have to do some testing with that. I'm not fighting two at once. Wait for one to move. Oh, okay. Hello there. I'll sharpen as well. Straight away. But yeah, I'm, I was thinking of doing a, like a little video when the game comes out. I, I don't know if I will though. It's just like... I know too much about the game, so like I wouldn't be scared from it. I wouldn't find anything surprising. Um, I would know what's going to happen, where to go, etc. Um, so I don't know if I will do a video because I feel like I would portray the game in a bad light just because I know everything about it already. Really? You're moving here as well? 
Um, I might still do one, I don't know. Probably not, but we'll see what happens. You guys can let me know if you want to see one or not. And then I might do one. <laughs> oh, come on. Yeah. Okay, I thought we would certainly hit there. Why do you guys have to move at the same time, though? It's so annoying. I'm just going to wait. I'm not fighting two of you at once. Okay, you followed me. As long as the other one doesn't follow as well. But yeah, I'm pretty confident that people will actually enjoy the game. Um, I know that there's going to be some people that are going to complain about certain things. I already know this for a fact. Um, but it's the way the game functions. So, I mean, you, you just can't please everyone. That, that's the thing you have to learn if you do anything with public interaction. You can't please any everyone. But, oh my god, really? You're actually following. I saw the shadow of the other one. He's coming in. And I'm confused. Yay. 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 Don't you just love this? Oh, this is so much fun. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm actually going to die though because I'm poisoned if I don't get out of this. Oh my god. How am I not dead? Oh my god, that was close. Let's just use a bunch of <laughs> herbs. Okay. Are they programmed to actually follow you? That's what seems to be going on right now. I'm not actually sure if they are, but it seems like they are. But yeah, I've been adding a lot of sounds to the game recently as well. Um, I have a, a subscription to like this um, this place where you can get like sound effects and music from, so it's pretty good in that um, regard. But it's just like, sometimes it's a bit hard to like get it working properly, like these sounds, in the sense of, for example, I've got a sound for when it goes to daytime, when it goes to nighttime, when you discover things, etc. So like, I'm I'm thinking like, what, what I'm going to have to add a failsafe or something, because what happens if it turns to daytime and you discover something at the same time, then it's going to have two tracks playing over each other, and that would be quite annoying. In my opinion, at least. So I'm going to have to add a little failsafe saying, like, if, um, for example, if lo if Discovery uh, audio source is playing, then, you know, don't play the other one, <laughs> or something along those lines. For anyone interested, I use C Sharp um, for scripting. I don't use C++ or Java. I used Java, like, the very first time I started doing game there, but I didn't like it. Um, so now I started using C Sharp, and now that's just what I use. I know I can use like C++ and stuff, but C Sharp does everything I need it to, so there's no reason for me to learn new stuff. Oh, really? I mean, I'm honestly, I'm not very good at C Sharp. Like, I'm not very good at scripting in general. Um, well, I don't think I am. I just kind of learnt everything through YouTube, so like, there are gaps in my knowledge, um, even some basic knowledge, um, but I kind of just, I kind of learnt how to do everything and then just kind of pieced it all together into one big knowledge block. But I'm still learning, every time I make a new script I'm learning like, you know, a new, more efficient way to do something or whatever. Sometimes not efficient, but better way. <laughs> an easier way, like something where it can like, you know, reduce the, the code down to like, say, five lines instead of 50. Even if it's less efficient, I'm doing that. Just because it, it's so much nicer. Come on! Damn it. Oh, really? That hitbox is terrible. These sound effects. Oh, he is here. I didn't know that Gypsros did the Rathalos fly in, jeez. Can you not... Oh my god, that was close. They, yeah, they follow, I thought, yeah. They're obviously programmed to follow the player. That's actually quite interesting, because I don't think any other monster does that.
Also, these guys have a lot more health than I thought. <laughs> I would have thought I'd at least have one down by now. Do I hear flying? I swear. Yeah, I knew it. I knew the other one was going to be a little poop head. Come on. You can't follow me in here. I don't have any paintballs, but we got Psycho Serum anyway. Give me items. Oh. I just sharpen just to make sure it's up near me. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> That's good timing. Now grab all this very slowly. I am curious why they did this so slow. Like, did they think, you know, they didn't want people to take items too quick or what? It's kind of weird. Okay, no one's in here. Okay, we got five. Okay, no, we... Okay, he must have gone down to four. I really didn't know that they did that flyover, though. I thought that was, like, only Rathalos and stuff. Oh my god, I can't see anything. Really? At least that didn't do much damage. Oh no, he's fake dying. I was going to say, is he dead? But no, the, you can see by the paintball that he's still alive. And obviously Gypsros does fake deaths. I'm, I am going to get hit here, but I don't really care, to be honest. No, I didn't. Nice. I really thought I was going to get hit there. Well, at least that means this one's almost dead. Gypsros has quite a few cool mechanics, and like obviously that death there, the fake there. And but also the following. I didn't realize that Gypsos had so many unique things that the other monsters don't. I knew it obviously had the fake death, that's the most obvious one, but I mean the following thing as well. Unless all monsters do that and I've only just noticed it somehow after, what's it been, 14 years of playing this game? Yes, there we go. I knew it was worth risking it. <laughs> okay, let's... Oh, pure crystal, yes. I was... I, I needed one of those. I'm pretty sure it was a pure crystal um, for a helmet. I did... I looked it up and they said um, Gypsros can give it to you. That's one of the reasons why I did this quest, because I, uh, I assumed, you know, I could hopefully get one from this quest, and we did. Oh, jeez. That one's limping already as well. Well, this quest ain't too bad. Bit of a pain when they <laughs> come into the same zone at the same time, etc. But other than that, yeah, 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 it's all fake, I know. Oh, you can't hit them in that animation, that's annoying. I bet you it's because it's using the, because uh, it is the death animation, but oh, there we go, dead. But they probably have the same script with it, so then, like, you know, you can't hit at that point. Well, that really wasn't bad. That was not bad at all. It wasn't too long either. What's that, 20 minutes-ish? Almost... wait. Oh, it's only 20 minutes? Wow, this is going to be a short episode. <laughs> compared to usual. Like, compared to the last couple, at least. They've been much longer. Well, let's put this away. And while we're here, I may as well go get some new armor then. New helmet. Can I make any of the Gypsy Rust stuff? So, this is what I wanted. Yeah, I needed a pure crystal for that. That's what I want to make. Um, doesn't look like I can make any of the other stuff, but because look, 80, but well, 70 versus 82, obviously, way better. Now I got a little mohawk. <laughs> well, let me just grab all this. Well, thank you all very much for watching. Um, that was that was a really easy quest. And um, next episode, well, I don't know what we're specifically doing next episode, but I think what we've got left is a normal Kezu, a Plesioth. Um, let me just see the Plesioth. Um, what was it again? And the Plum Damien Hermitar, and then we're up to the Urgent. 
which is another cougar, which is going to be a pain. <laughs> and then we're up to G2, and then G3 once we've done that. I'm kind of, I'm pretty keen for next rank because it's got um, Yamaskami in it. I love Yamaskami, but it also has Labisioth in it. That's not too good. That's kind of boring. <laughs> anyway, I'll see all you guys in the next one. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.